welcome, Vitam. And uh, today has been a rather amazing day at the World Cup because we, <laughs> we, 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 uh, we won the game um, two nil to Poland versus Saudi Arabia. And I was delighted because my guest today, Joseph, Joseph Alford, um, co-artistic director of Theatre O, um, we were texting and I was so delighted because Joseph was absolutely gunning for Poland and um, and as we were going through the match um, we said things like who moved the goalpost and at the end of it we were both cheering so welcome today Joseph um, honorary poll honorary poll <laughs> um, so before I introduce you anymore tell me what is your connection with Poland uh, well, uh, my parents moved to Warsaw in 1985 uh, when I was 11. Um, uh, they went to go and live there because my father was director of the British Council. Uh, so from 85 to 89, that's that's where they lived and that's where I went uh, for all my holidays. It wasn't at the time uh, somewhere where there was a, a school for me to go to, but uh, but that's it. That's where I spent my my teenage years, my teenage holidays. Fantastic, and and I mean, what? So your your father was at the British Council. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, wonderful. So you really saw Poland at a very exciting time. It was an amazing time. Yeah, I mean, oh. you know, eighty nine was when. So we left as the roundtable talks were were starting, but but just I don't know the 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 moment at which suddenly you could get away with wearing your Solidarność T shirt on the on the tram. Mm rather than you know being bundled off or arrested or told to take it off uh yeah it was it was a, a really exciting wow. time wow yeah. and and on monday you will be at Ognisko Polskie here in london um and tell us tell i mean you're going to be you're going well, to be <laughs> yeah so this so on monday it's the it's the launch of a new translation i think the first english translation of uh, adam mitskevich's ballads and romances uh, and Charles Kraszewski has done a, a beautiful job of the translation. And Charles and I were collaborating uh, last year a little bit because we were trying to put together a, a big dance uh, project uh, with four uh, really exciting Polish choreographers, um, which has uh, since been put on hold uh, for various reasons. But we thought it would be great to do something together for, for the launch of the book on Monday. Uh, so I've got together with uh, uh, one of the choreographers, in fact, who was going to be in the part of that other project, um, Ilona Gumowska. She's going to come over from Warsaw. She's a, a choreographer and a fantastic dancer uh, and an amazing uh, sound artist who's based here in London called Damsel Elysium. Yes. Um, and uh, and in the spirit of so Ms. K, which one of the things, one of the things he was uh, very famous for was his ability to improvise and so he would uh, I guess he would do the equivalent of maybe like a rap battle uh, where he would just go off on one uh, with his wow. poetry and he would amaze people so uh, uh, partly through necessity we are going to put together a kind of an improvised performance um, obviously the text will not be improvised that's my part i get the easy part i just get to read the text um but both ilona and uh, damsel elysium will be will be improvising with me uh to to i guess present these these amazing beautiful poems in in new and unexpected ways fantastic you know it's it's poland's national poet um and it's just wonderful that you know, this translation has happened um uh, and and fantastic that you know you're bringing this this really fresh spirit to the to the performance of the ballads uh, with two really really exciting artists. Wow, fantastic! But do I mean tell me about um, tell me about the performance? Um, we've got dance, we've got music, poetry reading. How's yep. it? How's it all going to come together? <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in, that's a very good question because, uh, uh, as I said, it's going to be uh, largely improvised. So we've all been we've all been in contact. We've all been talking, and uh, I've done recordings uh, of of me reading uh, the pieces, uh, so that Ilona and Andalusim have, have been able to listen to that and and already try out some ideas. Um, 
I'd say probably in this case, although Damsel Elysium is a fantastic musician, in this case there, it's more about sound and soundscape. So they're using a, a, an upright bass uh, and piano and electronic sound effects uh, to create atmosphere and create some kind of response to, to the stories and the sound of the words. Um, and Ilona as well, uh, finding ways of moving that captures the spirit of the pieces. I think what we're what we're not interested in. I mean, the words tell the story. That's that's very clear, and it's they're beautiful stories, and they're um, they're really well expressed. So it's a question of finding with the with the with the movement and the sound things that that support that and contribute that and add another dimension um, that. You know something that you're not going to experience when you're reading the book at home it's something that can only be done in a in a live mm -hmm. environment so we wanted to, to theatricalize it in that sense uh, to make it an, a kind of more of a total experience i suppose gosh uh, and this will be ognisco which is a beautiful venue i mean i, I think it's going to be a really special night I hope so. Yeah, I mean, we're in a very beautiful ballroom, and the way that we've set it up is that it's going to be in traverse, so so the audience are extremely close to the action. Uh, I wanted to create uh, something informal about the feel of it, uh, something that made made it possible for the audience to feel like they were part of it as well. So I'll be at one end, and uh, Damsel Elysium at the other, and Ilona kind of in the in the middle. Um, Actually, one of the things that uh, came to mind when I was when I first saw the space, I was just thinking about '80s Warsaw and basements in the old town. You know, yes, with, yes, with yes. A group of jazz musicians, or seeing us, you know, a, 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 an impromptu play, or, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So that was that was in my mind a little bit to create that sort of a spirit, something that's really alive and happening in the moment. Yeah, it's funny. So I always think when I hear music and a performance at Ognisco in that ballroom, I always think of Chopin in Paris with the salons. Right. And yeah. I salon. always just get transported back to that and the sort of this image of, of him playing and a few people together in that intimacy, which is really hard to get anywhere else. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, let, let's see. Let's see how, how it feels. Um, I mean, the, the, the Chopin Mitskevich connection as well. I mean, I think he, on occasion, performed poetry whilst Chopin played. I might be wrong about that, but somewhere wow. in my head, that, that is something that happened. I'm not yeah. suggesting that, you know, uh, 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 I'm not kind of comparing us to, to Chopin and Mitskevich, but uh, but nevertheless, that salon atmosphere, that, that um, yeah, that excitement of seeing something different and for the first time and, and up close and personal, I think, is is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, as a Pole living in London, I'm very excited about the fact that we can share our national poetry, our national poet with the English language. And I, I, I'm really interested to see how that sounds. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, it's, it's also <laughs> it's that's quite a pressure as well. Um, but I think I think it's really useful somewhere somehow that I, I i come i come to it without any of the baggage uh, uh it, for me it doesn't carry the same uh the same emotional weight um that that him being the national bard um brings with it uh, so i come to it and and also damsel Elysium maybe in, in different for ilona but i i come to it as it's as, as poetry it, it doesn't. It's you know. I'm I'm interested in all of the context, and I've and I've you know I've 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 read a lot about it, but 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 I maybe maybe the reverence is different, which I think is a good thing. Um, uh, it, yeah, absolutely, it, it, absolutely. Um, I mean, he's, he's also um, highly you know he's, he's a national poet for for Lithuania and Belarus as well. Yeah. Lots of people claim him. Yeah, we you yeah. know we'll share him. Yeah, um, and that just goes to show how he does touch people. Yeah, I think, I think so. Well. Yeah, yeah, he really does. And I think, but I think that I think it's an interesting moment to 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 to, to for me to discover him because I think the Romantic movement, which was different in Poland than it than it was here, for example. I mean, there obviously there were there were some 
core similarities, but um, it had a religious aspect uh, with Mitskevich that it didn't have with Byron and Keats and Shelley. Um, but but it was it was you know it was on the back of a time of uh, of a of a questioning of you know the reason based approach the scientific based approach and and it was coming back to uh, the the self and and what it, what is it to 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 feel and how important are feelings and emotions and self, sense of self and sense of identity um, uh, of course. You know everything that's happening uh, in the world at the moment, and uh, in Ukraine, and and the the question of national identity there. You know, the, there's reflections of that in Mitskevich because there was a time when when the Polish identity was was held in the diaspora; it didn't exist, you know, in in the country. Um, so the importance of culture and poetry as a as a uh, as a sort of safe place uh, or a uh, somewhere where, where national identity was was guarded and kept alive, uh, I think that's really interesting. But I also think we're living in a world of of incredible narcissism at the moment, where the self is clearly important um, and has 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 is has, it's, it's kind of exploded as an industry. Even the idea of of the self and and self identity. So it's a it's a really interesting time to be to be picking up on mm. on this kind of work and these kind of questions. I think it's also interesting in terms of identity, because at the time we were carrying our nation in ourselves. It, you know, it didn't exist. So mm. we were Poland. Yeah. And the self, when you talk about self, it's not just about yourself, but the nation. And that sort of the romance of the nation, I find, uh, you know, very, very exciting and, and interesting. Um, and very relevant for Poles like me, who were born here in the UK, yeah, who, who feel Polish and have that sense of self and Polishness um, and, and the romance. Because, you know, as children, well, you know, we, we didn't have family to go and visit. Some people did, but I didn't have family to visit in Poland. So I had a very romantic um, patriotism. Um, in a very good way. You know, I was really in love with Poland. Yeah. I had a big flag over my bed and and I had this very strong, strong feeling as a child. Um, and then everything that my parents would tell me would be through kind of through the optics of, of the war and loss. Yeah. And, and I think certainly I feel I feel very connected to the things that Mitskevich talks about. And I find it very easy to slip from the romantic self to the romance of the nation, you know, you know, the love of the nation. Um, so I'm very excited to hear it in English. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think it should also be be pointed out that that these particular poems of his uh, are maybe are maybe not uh, not so much talking about the nation. And more about how how rejected he was by one particular woman, and and that that inspired him to write a, a whole bunch of poetry, in a way to uh, to express how he felt about this about this rejection, this famous Marilla, um, who Charles mm -hmm. will talk about, I think, in his talk before we do our performance. Um, and I think that's great as well that that you know that he yeah. wrote he can write yeah. Four Fathers Eve, but he can also write a bunch of poems which are about kind of heartbreak and 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 yeah. you can interpret those those how you, how you like but but they are they are very human you know uh, uh which which i find fantastic and i think that's where it's interesting not being a pole approaching them and that's what i meant about the baggage i suppose yeah uh, absolutely uh, is that it just casts a different eye on it which i think is which is fantastic because if it can't because it can't exist outside of those feelings of of nationalism and I suppose some kind of ownership and national identity, um, then that's a shame. But the fact is, is that it can exist outside of that, uh, and that's what I think makes it great poetry. Um, it, it, yeah. it it's not only about Poland; it's it's about us, uh, which is which is great. Yes, and and the great you know, any great artist who can tell us more about ourselves or allow us to express ourselves 
uh, it doesn't matter what country they come from. Um, yeah. And I, 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 it's wonderful to hear that. Um, now, you are co-director, art, co-artistic director of Theatre O. Um, just tell me about your work, um, what you do normally. <laughs> Um, well, there is no normal actually. Which, oh, excellent! Uh, which, is, which is which is great. And it's sort of terrifying, but also great. Uh, so, Theatre Row, it, it's an it's a, it's an umbrella really for myself and Carolina Valdez, who's my uh, my co-artistic director. Um, it's a, it's an umbrella under which we make work, and that's been plays, that's been pieces that we have created from scratch, that we've written and devised and created and toured all around the world. Uh, we've also done adaptations of, of novels. Um, we've also done a whole ton of freelance work in the world of opera and film, and now we're starting starting in dance a little bit. Um, it's more, Theatre is more about a way of looking at the world and 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 i suppose taking the risk of of presenting our interpretation of the world and how we see it um and whether that is whether that manifests itself in in an opportunity like this where where you know there's this this amazing book of poetry do something with that or whether it's here's this ballet dancer go and do something, you know, around identity and dance and all those things. It could be that, um, or it could be going to make an opera. Um, so, so this row is, is, is an approach. It's a, it's a way of looking at the world and, and the idea of collaboration is, is central to what we do. Um, uh, you know, so it, it, it's always likely that somebody else's idea will be better than yours and 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 can and can improve the, the work that you make and I think to surround yourself and to work with people who are who are brilliant people will only make you better you i.e me or us yeah, uh, yeah. better as 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 makers and as artists um so yeah so you know theater row is is an amalgamation of 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 many things um and we'll keep on evolving and and becoming different things as we as we go through life. Well, what a, what an amazing opportunity we're going to have on Monday to to really see see how that all comes together. Um, and sounds like we're in very exciting hands with uh, with theatre with your, yourself and with Theatre O. Wow. Well, it's an, it's a great example. It's it's you know taking Ilona Gomoska, taking Damsel Elysium both uh, mm. who are brilliant at what they do yeah and that's what you know that that's that's the magic it's those people together um and that's what's exciting from i guess from a kind of from my point of view it's 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 finding finding those combinations and going what happens if we put these these people together and then you know hopefully something really lovely happens wow and you're collaborating with a PCR Polish Culture Institute on this on this performance right. on yeah, Monday. Yeah, yeah. So I have so I've got a um uh, a, I've, I've I've had a bit of a sort of ongoing relationship with them, and in fact, it was them that that uh, introduced me to Miskevich in the first place, which was going to be this this bigger piece uh, uh, that we started looking at last year. Um, yeah, I met uh, Marta de Zuniga on the on, on a plane to or from Bilbao, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, we we in, we share we share the fact that we both have Spanish partners, um, uh, and uh, and we got chatting and and I told her about my 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 adolescent years in in Warsaw and you know we met for coffee and we talked and uh, yeah one thing led to another and uh, and and here we are kind of getting ready to do our little piece of the Omnishko. Um Wow. Uh, yeah, but they've been doing the, the the institutes really, really. I mean, it's all about partnerships, and uh, and I think that's what they've been really strong at these these last mm. years. Uh, so it's a real honour to be one of those partnerships. Yeah, um, it's just a, an amazing, amazing organisation, um, and also this this remit to bring Polish culture to to different countries around the world. But you know, the London one is uh, the the England. The UK-based one is, you know, to bring that Polish culture to an English audience. Um, it's just wonderful, wonderful to have that. People doing really exciting stuff as well. 
yeah, no, yeah. it's really great to be a part of that. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So tickets are available on the Okniska Polskie website, and that's okniskopolskie.org.uk for Monday night. So I can't think of anything more exciting on a Monday night than to see, well, than to be part of, of this event. Um, and just, just, just to summarise what we're going to see. So there are a few poems, a few ballads. Yes, yeah, so we're going to, so first, so first of all, there's a, so Charles will give a, a talk and he's, uh, he's always amazing to listen to and uh, uh, very engaging, very entertaining, and his depth of knowledge is, is incredible. Uh, so he will talk a little bit about, about the poems and the translation. Uh, and then we will uh, perform for 35 minutes, 40 minutes. It's uh, five, five of the ballads. Um, uh, and they, well, as I said, they all, they all somehow, deal with this with this uh, relationship that he had with with Marilla um although not all the ballads deal with it directly but nevertheless the, the sentiments are there um the pieces that we're doing the first one is to my friends which is followed by this I like which is followed by the Shvitesianka uh then romanticism which which is the is the is the piece that's always cited as a as the great example of of I suppose encompassing what romanticism is, uh, and then we finish with uh, the very entertaining the glove. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. And just to summarise, who will be there um, doing the performance? Will be yourself reading. So there's me reading. Mm -hmm. I don't have to improvise. I just get to read the text. <laughs> um, Ilona Gomoska, fantastic choreographer and dancer based in Warsaw. She's, I hope flying over tonight, uh, and Damsel Elysium, who is a very exciting uh, sound artist uh, uh, who makes really, yeah, really incredible work. Wow, what a fantastic evening. Well, thank you so much for being my guest on the show. Uh, really looking forward, and I hope many, many people are going to join us. But remember, we're going to go for a salon atmosphere, so it's not a, it's not a, tickets will sell out if you don't, if you don't buy them today. Um, or tomorrow, um, or even Monday. Uh, for, so that's on Ognisko Polskie website and um, Mickiewicz's Ballads and Romances, The Battle Cry of Polish Romanticism. Um, and that's being brought to you by um, Joseph Alford um, and Theatre O and the Polish Culture Institute. Let's not forget the people who really have actually sparked this off for all of us. So a huge thank you to the Polish Culture Institute and to Ognisko Polskie as well. So thank you so much, Joseph. Thank you. Wonderful. So I'm going to play us out with some music and, um, and I'll see you Monday. And here we go. Mm -hmm.